uh, welcome back. My video got cut short. Uh, I didn't do proper editing, but this again is uh, the Michigan snow forecast gold standard sponsored by VGCI News and Weather Authority, right? And this is our preliminary 2021-2022 winter uh, weather outlook. And we went over our slides here about the oceans and all that. And real quick, we're going to show you our beautiful logo. Oh, fuck. It doesn't, for some reason, it skips shit. I don't get it. But here's our beautiful logo that we got for you. So that's a company made logo. It's a one of a kind. Uh, Michigan Snow Forecast Gold Standard with our sponsor, Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing News and Weather Authority, right? We got our beautiful freezing rain on the trees, the high mountains, our winter storm seen in the background. Uh, don't be a jabroni. Stay up to date if you're in the plow industry or service. This is a very powerful uh, weather predicting snow forecast tool to have in your tool bag so you'll know when the snow's coming. But when we looked over using our analog gears where we left off, that got cut off. Uh, we seen the winter, it said it should look like this. And then the precipitation should look like that. But we got to add in for the winter time right here the EPO, the, the PNA. Uh, the AMO, uh, the WPO, and most importantly, the, the MJO, the Maddie and Julian Oscillation, right? We got to we gotta implement that into our probability weighted forecasting technique. And when I do that, it says it should look like this with all those years. But I look at this winter where I think this high pressure is going to be centered. And you can see how that counterclockwise or the clockwise flow with the blue and purple arrows uh, fills up. Uh, an onshore wind and that allows the cold Siberian and Arctic air to build over Alaska and Northwest Canada and then the trade winds start to pivot to the south and southeast and it drives the cold Arctic air down the mount the Intermountain West along the Pacific Northwest coast down into the uh, southern Canadian border into the Pacific Northwest Oregon Idaho and it spreads it east into central Canada out into Montana North and South Dakota Northwest Minnesota, uh, extreme northern uh, Nebraska, right? It's very cold winter. I'm expecting about a two to four degrees below normal preliminary uh, right now. And then in the light blue, uh, streaming all the way south in the Oregon and Washington and Idaho and uh, Wyoming, northern Colorado, northern Nebraska, uh uh northern nebraska northern missouri no and out in the northwestern missouri out in the iowa northern illinois and western great lakes i expect it's slightly one to three degrees below normal and then along the south as the jet stream buckles to the north we expect it very chilly along the southern states right or very warm and dry across the southern states as it's a weak Pacific jet stream that comes in or subtropical jet, Pacific jet stream is gonna be buckled well to the north of Hawaii and south of the blocking high pressure, right? And it's gonna be drier than normal and warmer than normal. And there's gonna be a fight in the middle where we do get these storms that come out of the north, come over the Rockies, come out into the central plains and then pivot to the northeast. Uh, along with uh, when we do get, uh, as we get in the middle winter, as we get the subtropical impulses come in out of the southwest, move through the desert southwest into Texas, pick up the Gulf of Mexico moisture with a southerly flow, uh, and then pivots to the northeast, and they'll phase. You're gonna get a lot of phasing storms like we were talking about earlier, and that's gonna drive up into the northeast, and we think east of the Appalachians will be a mild winter this year, but still a lot of precipitation. West of the mountains, we expect uh, a lot of mixing and snow, right? Front side, a lot of mixing going to rain, back side, a lot of mixing going to snow, and a lot of backlash lake effect snow this year. We think as the cold Arctic air settles and you're gonna have a big lake effect snow season, especially in the Western and Northern Great Lakes, right? And you can see that beautifully with our uh, temperatures above normal in the Southeast, Texas, Southern Texas and the desert Southwest, we expect it to be dry. And then a patch out into the interior mountains in Nevada, we expect it to be below normal, but above normal precipitation and below normal temperatures in the extreme uh, Pacific Northwest in the Oregon and Northern Washington, right? And then the coast of California with some storms, uh, could be about average for precipitation this year. The rest of the West, we're thinking average, right? So that's what the Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing.
preliminary winter forecast looks like with our temperatures, right? And then you can see with the negative EPO, what it shows is troughiness with a big ridge, forces uh, the Canadian air into the continent and down the continent, right? And then you can see the cold, uh, the temperature pattern at the surface, what it looks like here, right? This is a smaller picture, ocean temperatures from last year. Winter time last year, you can see we thought it would be warm in the north. December was warm, January was warm, and then February the cold finally came. And then it gave you a 2020, 2021 winter temperature that offset the, what the rest of the winter should look like because two thirds of the winter was mild, two and a half to three weeks was brutally record breaking cold, and it flipped the temperatures to look like this, right? And uh, this is some of the analogs we were looking at last year, and you could see what we were for what the forecast was looking like. We could see how it could get cold in the middle of the nation, and the temperature of the forecast actually sort of verified the precipitation looked like that, right? But it was all a three-week stretch that knocked the averages back down. Uh, once again, this is going to be an exciting uh, year at the uh, Michigan Forecast Snow Gold Standard, sponsored by Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing News and Weather Authority. We're going to be live streaming. We're going to be going over the weather models. Uh, we got weather bell models that are phenomenal weather models to use, and we're going to be updating and doing uh, weekly to daily uh, weather updates now as we work our way into mid-fall, and we have our first fall uh, low pressure, strong low pressure storm system this week. If it was four to six weeks later, it would have been a phenomenal storm track for a major winter storm in Detroit, but it's not, so it's going to be a phenomenal rainstorm. But we're going to start updating the weeklies and give you weekly uh, updates and monthly temperature and precipitation forecast. Uh, once again, this is going to be an exciting time here, sponsored by Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, or expanding our network. It's going to be a phenomenally fun, exciting winter. Peace and love, peace and love.